Hi, in this video, I will show you a new feature in full stack disaster recovery related to attaching and detaching block volumes for a non moving compute instance. I'm Anton Mubarak and I'm part of the custom apps and consolidation specialist team. As we navigate through this feature, you will gain a comprehensive understanding of how it optimizes the functionality of non moving instances. This becomes particularly significant in scenarios where an active passive disaster recovery setup is employed, enhancing the efficiency of your overall system. The architecture used for this demo consists of two VMs. One is deployed in Frankfurt and the other one in Amsterdam. As you can see in the diagram, the VM in Frankfurt has an attached block volume mounted on slash data. This block volume is part of a volume group and is seamlessly replicated to the standby region in Amsterdam. Please keep in mind that the volume group does not contain the boot volume of the VM instance in Frankfurt. When triggering the switch over, Fullstack DR will detach the block volume from the VM in Frankfurt and then stop the compute instance. It will start the VM in Amsterdam and attach the block volume to it with the same mount point on slash data. And the volume group replication will be reversed from Amsterdam to Frankfurt region, all orchestrated seamlessly by full stack disaster recovery. Let's move now to the OCI console. In this window, you can see the non moving VM in Frankfurt. And in the details, we can see the attached block volume with a size of 100 gig. In Amsterdam, the VM is stopped and there's no attached block volume to this VM. Let's go now directly to the VM in Frankfurt and check the data mount point. So here you can see the mount point of 100 gig. And for the demo purposes, there's a file, text file containing some data here. Okay, let's now move to the full stack disaster recovery setup. And I have already created the DR property protection group on each region, and they are already associated. I'm considering that you are already familiar with this part of the setup, and we will start directly in Frankfurt by adding the members to the DR protection group. In this case, I have one compute and one volume group in Frankfurt to add. Please, be, be careful to choose non-moving instance as we are in this case now. And in show advanced option, I will check this box to start and stop the VM during the switch over. And in the block volume tab, uh, here I will select the block volume that I want to attach and detach. The VM that is the reference of the attachment properties and the mount point. And then I will click on add. The VM is added. Let's add now the volume group. And I have only one volume group, so it's selected here by default. And I will click on add. The volume group is also added in Frankfurt. Let's now move to the DR protection group in Amsterdam and add the compute in this DR protection group. We'll select the VM name. I will select non-moving instance also. In advanced option, I will check this box. And in the block volume, I will select the block volume to be attach or detach the VM to be where the reference properties will be taken and the mount point. And I will click on add. So the VM in Amsterdam is also added. So all the resources are now part of the both DR protection group. 
the next step will be to create the switch over plan and as usual the switch over uh, all the dr plan should be created from the standby region so i will go to plan create plan i will give a name and from the plan type i will select switch over and i will click on create So the switch over plan is now created. If we go to the details, you can see all the uh, groups part of this plan, the pre-checks. Here you can see the detached block volume from the compute instance in Frankfurt, stop compute instance in Frankfurt, switch over the volume group, and then start the compute instance in Amsterdam, and then attach block volume to this compute instance in Amsterdam. And as usual, reverse the volume group replication to the uh, read to the region in Frankfurt, terminate the volume group and remove the volume group from the DR protection group in Frankfurt. So before, uh, to, to be able to pre-check this plan, the VM in Amsterdam should be in a running state because detaching, testing this attaching block volume needs to have the VM up and running. So let me go and start the compute instance in Amsterdam. So the VM is now running in Amsterdam. I can go back to the DR protection group and run a pre-check. Any second, it will be in progress. It will take around two minutes. So let me pause the video for the moment. So all the pre-checks are completed now, all successfully. Uh, I have also stopped again the uh, VM in, uh, in Amsterdam. Because this is the usual state for, in my case, in this DR scenario. So I will then go back to the DR protection group here in Amsterdam, and I will run the switchover. I will disable the pre-checks as it was launched before, and I will execute the plan. And here you can see that the plan is in the queue. It will be in progress in a second. So the steps are as following, detaching the block volume from the instance in Frankfurt. It will stop the compute instance in Frankfurt to switch over the volume group from uh, Frankfurt and then to Amsterdam. Start the compute instance in Amsterdam, attach the block volume to the compute instance in Amsterdam, reverse the volume group replication, terminate the volume group and remove the volume group from the DR protection group. This is in progress now. I will pause the video for now and I will be back once everything is completed. The switchover plan is now completed. All the steps are done successfully. Let's check now the state of the compute VM in Frankfurt. It should be stopped here. Okay, it is in a stop state. The VM in Amsterdam should now be running. and it has the same attached volume here, 100 gig, the same block volume was attached here. And if I go directly to the VM here, I have the mount point here and the data demo file is at the same content as before in Frankfurt. One last thing, this demo was done based on a Linux VM. The same approach is also uh, possible for Windows VM. I hope this video was useful for you and you have a clear view about how blog volume is now supported by full stack DR. Thank you for watching.